Hey, loves, what's going on? Miss SG here. You can jump in there and then that if you start to chat, okay? Sorry, <laughs> man. Oh, I need to put my shoes on. Bitch, I hurt you being on my feet. Wow. Okay, so what I was tapping in um, is how to uh, divine feminine is feeling in regards to the situation with the divine masculine and the karmic, okay? Um, and secondary came out. Let me put this back here. Okay, Spirit, what did you have for me in regards to the divine uh, feminine power? And the how you cope with the situation with the divine mass, the DM and the crime. Hey, love, 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 love. You guys had a good evening last night. If you guys are currently not subscribed to the channel, please take the time to do so. Appreciate your support. Thank you for. Um, You've been tapping in and visiting the channel. Man, it's very appreciate you. Please don't forget to hit that notification bell for future messages. And don't forget to like, comment, and share if you choose to. No pressure, love. No pressure. Okay. All right, let's keep it rolling. So what's going on with the DF in regards to the uh, connection? <laughs> or the alleged connection with the divine master and the karmic. How do we have to feel right now? How are the DS feeling in regards to this alleged connection with these karmics and the DMs? Oh, okay. Alright, DMs, y'all got a lot to talk about, don't y'all? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Was that one time? Nope. Wow. Okay. That's a shocker. I just didn't binge them. Mm -mm. I am surprised. I'm not going to lie. Okay. You may hear a little noise. That's my dryer going on. Sorry about that. Y'all yeah, know I don't know why. I just got, I like the multitask. <laughs> Get a little laundry out the way. I'm coming here and do a little reading for y'all, okay? A little insight. Okay, so how do the DFs are feeling in regards to the alleged connection in regards to the DF, I mean the DM and the karmic? It can be the um, same sex too, so... Spirit one channel that threw me um, to say um, DF because it can be same sex, okay? So we did first jump it was secondary. They feel unstable. They feel like the uh, DM and some of the DFs have excuses, are making excuses to stay in the situation that they're in. Ooh. They're wanting a D, uh, the DF and the DM in regards to the situation to either make a decision or keep it pushing. What was this one? I'm sorry. Oh, <laughs> some of them saying, you know what? Fuck it. I'm unavailable now. <laughs> they tied away there. Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. My nose be itching for this. Sometimes when I do these readings or they tell them my nose get the itching. <laughs> Never fully find out why that is, because I know not a lot of other readers do the same thing or get the same feeling, and I don't know why. <laughs> they still have lust for the D, um, the DMs and some DFs who's in same sex. They feeling like, oh, is that uncomparable? Oh, they said they are. Uh, no, no, no. They feel uncomfortable with the situation, so a lot of them are choosing to uh, to move on. Depending, they feeling like the um. They feeling codependent. Some some of these DFs are feeling codependent in regards to the relationship or connection with the divine masculine. And some DF could feel child death throw me. And they also feel the DMs are feeling cold uh too dependent on the situation. They feeling unlovable. Elusive. Wow. And this one I was very shocked, Vengeful. 
very shocked. Have a lot of doubt. But a lot of them have doubt and they chose to move on. They said, no, they're not going to. And this is, this is a situation where they feel like, um, when I get robotic, it's like a ro um, a continuous cycle, like a revolving door, like the DM or the DF is constantly keep doing the same thing over and over again, and they're sick and tired of the situation, so they choose it to walk away. Okay, DMs? And some of you DFs. <laughs> I don't know why I'm picking up some of these DMs are pregnant. The ones that chose to walk away. I'm picking that up strongly. Do I got this? No. They feel like uh, no difference is going to take place because we have the sun, but it's in reverse, you guys, okay? I also feel like someone moved on towards their um, soulmates. Hold on, boss. I already shuffled them, but... With the DMs, BF, and Carmen's. <laughs> so, said we're not leaving anyone else, so that's why they told me to say BFs as well. Of course, I'm saying facts, but I guess some people forget to put play the, um, the energy as it applies to you, place the energy as it applies to you or your situation. A lot of them are choosing to um, work on their stability, they, rather that's their home, their job, themselves, balancing themselves. Um, we didn't get the temperance, but that's what I'm feeling. A lot of them feeling conflicted within themselves. A lot of them want to um, move towards helping other people. And I keep feeling humanitarian work also, helping those who really need them. I feel like the uh, DMs have too much. Too, okay, the... Your divine counterpart in it <clears throat> has too many options, okay? All right, Dio, so what else you feel, huh? Ooh, okay. Yeah, balance. <laughs> they feel in balance with themselves and loving themselves. I'm also feeling, picking up too, that they feel um, that the DM... Okay, let me say divine counterpart because spirit wanted me to say the DS, even though I'm speaking of the divine feminine. But I keep picking up that there's some same sex and they keep forgetting to apply the, the energy where where it is, where it should be, shall I say. But they also are um, feeling like them that their divine counterpart is not going to move forward towards them. So this is another reason why they're choosing to walk away from the situation. They no longer want to have any type of connection. Knowing a lot of you can't break that connection, I truly believe only God can do that. Step of the court. <laughs> Some of them found out too, these DFs found out that your their divine counterpart is in some type of business. A lot of them um, actually been looking on the social media platforms, seeing what's really going on. I'm sorry, y'all, because I was chewing some gum. I don't want to be popping on um, <laughs> video. Sorry about that. I was checking on something I got on the stove. Where was I? Um, oh, yeah. Some of them are looking on social media platforms, watching their, uh, their divine counterpart, trying to see if they're saying anything in a subliminal way in regards to them. They're also picking up on their divine counterpart um, if they're... Wow, I just paused for some... It's like I got a... Never mind, you guys. <laughs> so a lot of these DFs are picking up on their divine counterparts. Um, I am also picking up to, unfortunately, that... DMs um, and DFs. I also feel picking up that your karmic are actually 
projective energy to the DFs and letting them know, like showing them that you guys are intimate still. Some of you are still intimate with these karmics. Okay. Wow. What we have on the board is earth signs, air, and cups. I said cups. <laughs> you guys know what I mean. <laughs> water loves water. I don't know where that came from, but yeah. So I don't know why I keep picking up somebody's making a decision between. Um, well, they trying to through me saying Gemini, but I was actually going to say a fire sign. Yeah, and a uh, Gemini. <laughs> Gemini, Libra, Aquarius loves. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Do I have this? Yep, I do. Uh, they don't want to break anybody's card. Is what I'm picking up. Ooh, okay. All right, DFs. Y'all like to hit that. Yeah, they, they know that you guys are married uh, DMs or DFs. Divine counterparts, your DF know that you're married to this karmic. And that some of you have kids. Um, this could be somebody that has Aquarius in their chart. And also the DF know that there is a child on the way. This person could be eight months pregnant already. I just heard seven. Oh. They said seven, but I, I was about to say that someone was, um, wow, they must have wanted me to say that because I lost it. Hmm. Okay, no problem. Yeah, I feel like they know that you guys are celebrating something, some type of uh, marriage or commitment ceremony or something like that. So one of you DFs, um, the, either the karmic blasting on social media, I just heard Facebook that you guys um, went to some, some type of commitment ceremony. And I truly am picking up um, for these divine counterparts that you did it because you thought that your DF wasn't going to take you back. What a spirit. Somebody also um, know that their ships are coming in. I'm speaking of the the DL. They want stability with another individual. I'm picking up a new love interest. Also a soulmate. Yeah, soulmate. Oh. Yeah, the DFs are manifesting um, their soulmate towards them. The uh, divine counterparts. They know that this person is not going to keep, um, sorry about slamming it down on my kind of time. They know that this particular love interest is not going to keep secrets from them. Okay. Yeah. They know that this person is going to give them the stability that they deserve and that they seek. The stability. And they made a choice. Yeah, so a lot of the DFs are choosing to walk away. Um, they don't want anything to do with this situation with you, D, uh, divine counterparts. They feel like they've um, dealt with enough um, and constantly being a revolving door for you, constantly coming in and out of their life, in and out of their life. And majority of the time, you just come to have sex with them, drawing them back in, trying to wine and dine them, and they're just tired of it. And you're still watching them on social media platforms. They're also, um, some of them are doing the same thing because they've been enlightened about a lot of things that's been going on here and things through the grapevine as well. DS, what else are you feeling, huh? Yeah, you just want to work on your brand and build your stability. A lot of them going in hermit mode. Whoa, okay. What are you taking a leap of faith? Yeah, they're just, um, also what I'm picking up, how these DFs are feeling towards the situation itself. They've been getting a lot of messages and downloads about what's taking place. And I, I'm, I'm picking up the universe want them to make a decision if they want to return, allow you to return. They're guarding the energy because they feel like you're tapping in when they're sleeping as well. I'm also picking up that someone is talking to God about they don't want you to be able to tap in and have access to them. Hearing them clear audiently when they're thinking, their thoughts that's running through their head. They don't want you to have access and know what's coming towards them. 
yeah, they've been talking to God, universe, wherever you guys feel close to <laughs> connection with. <laughs> Yeah, they don't want you to know about their business projects or anything. It's something that they're feeling that God is guiding them to do as well. Something is going to work out in a DF's favor. Wow. They're doing connections with people, um, networking with people to actually venture out. So they don't care about the situation that's going on between you and this karmic or karmics for some of you who actually have multiple karmics now. And this is another reason some of the DMs have decided to walk away from you. Um, they feel like you haven't learned your lesson. I got the strength card here as well. I feel like everything is going to be fine, but they feel like you have too many options and they don't have time for the BS. So. Yes, I understand what you're saying, okay? Sometimes it's just time to keep pushing. You can still love them from afar, but you do have a great deal of fortune um, coming towards you. Okay. Mm, as soon as I said that spirit popped all of these out. Yeah, you're tired of being heartbroken about this situation, and, and it's time for you to walk away. Yep. Yeah. Could be a Capricorn. I have Capricorn in your chart. Virgo in your chart. Yeah, you're going to Hermit mode. You know that you're going to be balanced and justice is going to come in. Could be dealing with a Libra. Wow. Yeah, it's all about your um, your stability, your uh, you balancing everything in your life. You don't, the DFs, most of the DFs don't, they just don't care. And they already getting the recognition that they deserve. This could be at a job or with a lover as well. Yeah, they're going to have a new beginning. They're going to get all the clarity that they need. Because that's what I was picking up. Could be de dealing with uh, Aries as well. But there's going to be some type of conflict, uh, DFs, in regards to this love um, this love interest. Somebody you dealt with in your um, past, <clears throat> or your past life, or someone from your past is coming back, resurfacing to apologize to you. Because we have the Six of Swords and the Six of Cups as well. So this is indeed someone returning traveling coming towards you to apologize for how they mistreated you and i do pick up this is an aries so you can have you can be an aries or have gemini libra Aquarius in your uh chart or the the love interest clip or you can have cancer pisces scorpio this is the, the love, love interest that's coming towards you they want to give you the clarity that they know you deserve and apologize um for pretty much hurting you and stabbing in your back i feel like many of you are going to Accept the apology, but you want to move on. You feel like this person always playing childish games. What else, Spirit? All right, DFs, talk to me. Yeah, you think they're very foolish, DFs? And many of them are. You just want to move on with your life. You feel haunted about everything that's going on, and you just want to move forward in your life. A lot of you are self-indulging, and you feel like these DFs are, I mean, these are divine counterparts are doing the same thing. Indulging in a lot of things. Why did it have to go down? Uh, I don't know. It was more than one. What? I guess not. Do I have some of my parts like two? Yes, yeah, so a lot of your deep, um, your divine uh, counterparts, I feel too that you're. Getting to the point where you're tired, like most of them on some type of power struggle. They're irresponsible. And they continue to be irresponsible, is what I'm doing. Spirit. Yeah, they're manipulating everything. You feel like they're sellouts. Do you actually feel like your divine counterparts are sellouts? And they make you feel empty inside. But you don't need them to validate you any longer. Like you're getting your power back. You think that they're cowards? You feeling like they're cowards? What else? Here? Yes, talk to me. What are you feeling? Thank you. 
that these divine, uh, your divine counterparts are too insecure about things and they're not have enough uh, willpower and strength to move towards you to just even to apologize. Most of you just want an apology. Acknowledging, for them to acknowledge what they've done and to be honest and upfront about it. They was too secret to you, keeping a lot of secrets. What else do you have? Talk to me. Thank you. And if, they, okay, so Diaz, what I'm picking up also is that you feel like it's one-sided. The divine, uh, your divine counterpart is going to come to you like it's, and it's all about the karma. And they don't want to own up to what they've done. Some of them is also self-medicating. You know about them self-medicating. You want them to take better care of themselves. And that they're guarded. Thank you, DFs. Thank you. You know that they're misguided and they're fixated on the um, connection itself. What else do you have to say? Yeah, and you're choosing to walk away. Walking away, you feel is your only option because your DFs are not your DFs and your divine your divine counterparts are not choosing to own up to what they've done. Some of them are going to still sugarcoat the situation, and they still feel a void. But some of you, I'm thinking, I feel a void as well. I feel like you you feel a void in the situation. Hold on, loves. What else? Yes, tell me how you feel, my honey. There's no consistency in anything. Yes, how are you feeling? Talk to me. Thank you. There's used there used to be happiness, but now there's nothing but joy in their heart is for those who are choosing to move on. Come on, DS, talk to me. You'll always be their sweetheart. DMs, you'll always be their sweetheart. Talk to me. DS, talk to me. Some of them are choosing to feel young again. You know, they have they smock back. <laughs> Beautiful. They always have someone that's going to be loyal to them. And they're speaking of the universe, God. They don't feel they can trust you guys, DMs. DMs. Wow. Yeah. Wow. They feel like the only person they can truly trust and is going to always have their back is God. And I truly feel that. I feel the same way. Who's going to love them unconditionally and always be honest with them no matter what. Even through their flaws, they'll tell them no. But they know that their fortune and recognition will be with someone else. For those of you who had a house with these divine counterparts, you feel in prison by being there. It's too much sad memories and some of you are choosing to just leave the house to them or moving out or selling the home. Some of you feel that it is a misfortune because we have misfortune here. The hope is not there any longer. Like you just want to move on and be happy. Come on, BS, talk to me, honey. Talk to me still. A lot of the DFs are willing to sit down and have a conversation with your DFs or divine counterparts. They feel like it's all about pleasure seeking, like kissing ass and all that. But they just wish you happiness, don't want you to be sad. They know a lot of you are staying with these karmas in regards to a child because most of you didn't have a father figure or two parent household. And that's the only reason you're staying um, connected with this person. But that has to be your decision to make. Okay, this one, you're trying to show them. Yeah, they're okay with y'all being cool, but they don't want anything sexual or relationship with you guys. They just want to move forward. They want consistency in their life when it comes to a relationship or even a friendship. And they don't think you're ready for that. 
care. Yeah, a lot of them just don't care. They're done. They're done. What else? Oh. Yeah, a lot of them is working on their degrees. And a lot of them put you on such a high pedestal. Um, honestly, they feel like they threw you down a notch, to be honest. <laughs> because you guys weren't woman or man enough to own up to your mistakes. It's all they ever wanted was an apology. That's all. And if you choose to stay the promise, that's your that's your choice, and they're not gonna try to step into it to intervene with that. Okay, you want me to pull this one over? Yeah, but they feel like you, even though everything that took place, most of them don't want a reunion with you, but they know that you want a reunion with them. Some of you do. That don't go for everybody. Wow. Some of them are waiting still. Okay. But they feel like they're getting too old to be sitting around waiting on somebody. Life is too short. Some of these DMs are sickly. And some feel that you're with someone, with the karmics, because the karmics are sickly. Hmm. Anything else? Yeah, and a lot of them feel it's about money. And they also, I'm picking up too, that the DS feels the only reason you'll be returning because they're doing much better for themselves. Anything else, DS? Yeah. They think you're going to cock block. The DS think you're trying to cock block because they're getting all these options now in the love department. And they don't want to play no little games with you guys in regards to being heartbroken again. So they're choosing to move on. Mm. What else? Ooh, okay. Yeah, they're taking a leap of faith elsewhere. Wow. A lot of these DS got a, a, um, a high sex drive for another individual. This could be a Capricorn too or Aries Leo Sagittarius. They're really highly sexually attracted to someone. They could be knocking boots with them too. I'm gonna keep it real. Anything else you ask for close it out? Whoa, okay. Yeah, they felt like you guys broke their heart, but they know they're not gonna um, get their heart broken with a real deal, with the real deal is what I heard. Okay, um, this is everything I have um, for the uh, DFs in regards to the situation regarding the divine masculine or DFs for same sex, um, depending on whatever you flirt with. Flirt with. Where they come from? Flow with. <laughs> so, loves, this is all that I have in regards to the situation with the, uh, your divine counterpart in the comic. You guys have a good one.